Hello Linux fans, Rob here and welcome to Linux Quest. I bet I know what you're thinking right now. You're thinking, what makes the Dolphin File Manager so awesome? Well, we're going to take a look at all the form, features, and function of the Dolphin File Manager and I'll be on a quest to point out all the reasons why I say the Dolphin File Manager is the best file manager no matter what operating system you're running. So let's dig in. <music> So this is going to be a multi-part series of videos on Dolphin and that's simply because I've had more than one Linux Quest viewer who have said or suggested, hey, it would be great to see more detailed videos where you really break down all of the settings of the various application or the distribution. And so while I've done some videos that do get into some settings and details, depending on what the subject matter is. I've never really done a multi-part series focusing in on something like Dolphin where we really go into all of the settings. And believe you me, because this is the Plasma desktop and it's KDE, there are a plethora of settings. So this will certainly be a multi-part series. And let's start off with basic overview and understanding of what Dolphin is as well as some of the layout and controls. So we're going to start there. I'll touch on a few things, but some things we will save for the follow-up of, uh, you know, part one, part two, so on and so forth. And who knows how many parts this is going to take, because again, there is so much more to Dolphin that meets the eye. Also, I want to say that this is my opinion that Dolphin is the best file manager bar none doesn't matter what the operating system is that you're using now you may differ with that and I look forward to your comments as to why you prefer maybe another file manager perhaps you like Nemo or Thunar um, as your file manager and I love reading your reasons behind that and that's part of what the Linux Quest community is is sharing of that information and opinion which we all have one and you know as long as you can quantify why it is that you like what you like, um, I think it's excellent because other readers learn from that and they may discover, like I do all the time, discover new things um, that they never knew, even though maybe they had been using that particular piece of software or application or tool for a long time. So part of this is all about learning. So, But anyway, my ultimate goal is to prove out uh, why this is such an awesome file manager. All right, so let's jump into the overview. One of the things that's great is that you can make Dolphin anything you really want it to be. If you want a simple layout like we see here, uh, you can set it up to be that way. There are controls in place to really change just about everything within the file manager. You can add in various tools and controls that let you do things um, that can simplify your workflow or just change things in appearance for example everyone uses their file manager differently you know this is kind of a personal part of the operating system for everyone uh, one person may prefer a large icon view like this while another might uh, you know prefer the compact view like we see here while others may like the detailed view where they can add general information now, we're going to get into every aspect that I can within this series. So again, this is more general overview. Now, if this is your first time ever seeing or hearing about Dolphin File Manager, the Dolphin File Manager, again, is part of the KDE desktop. That desktop can run on top of Linux, GNU, or GNU Linux, GNU Linux distributions or operating systems. Dolphin can be used outside of the KDE desktop environment. However, the implementation is not always as good as it will be if you're running it within KDE. All right, so with that said, let's just kind of talk about the layout here. Up top, you've got this menu panel, if you will, or shortcut panel to various shortcuts. Here we see back and forward, which is going to navigate you from one folder to the next. 
but it's going to stay within the view mode that you're in. So if we go to icons and I navigate, it'll take me back and forth to the folders within icon view as I had it set up. Then you have cut, copy, and paste. Now I added these shortcuts. You can remove them just as easy as you can add them. And we'll take a look at that, but that may be later on in another series. Then you have your view modes here. So we have icons, compact, and details. Now these can be adjusted with a slider here, very simply. And I'm going to bring these up to a really large size. Now some people may look at this and say, there's no way I'd ever use icons that size in Dolphin. And I get that. But there are people who are vision impaired where this would be extremely helpful. You can also increase the size of the font and we'll take a look at that as well maybe in a later uh, series of videos on Dolphin. So that's just some of the options with a simple slider. We'll take that down to a more manageable size I'll say. Also within Compact you'll notice that as you adjust that slider you'll see some changes in the icons. This is the default look kind of a monochrome look to the icons but as you adjust the slider those icons change in appearance and size. Same way with details. Now with details you could right click and add additional information and we'll get into tags and comments and things like that. You've also got an option for automatic column widths. So now the columns will adjust to the size of the information you see here. But manually you can go right back in and adjust those out. Next on the list in our shortcut bar here if you will, we have find and that will launch you into find settings which again here there's more than meets the eye when you're doing a search within Dolphin. It's extremely powerful in a lot of ways. Next up we have Preview. So we're going to close out Find and go to Preview. And I'm going to move back over to the Icon view and we'll bring this down. You'll see Previews there now because in Pictures you can actually see the pictures or an example of pictures that are in that folder. But once you click into that folder you can also see previews if you've got it set up properly and we'll talk about that again in some of the settings but you can see previews of various types of files and in this case images uh, we're not set up to where you could see previews of the PDF for example next up is you can do a split view so this gives you two windowed views but you can navigate individually each pane or window and this would allow you to drag and drop for example so if I wanted to go into documents and drag this over into documents this gives easy access as opposed to copy and paste we're going to turn off preview and we're going to close the dual window view next up we have control control is going to give you a whole list of things here to explore and we'll be getting into more of these controls in other videos. Let's start at the top. You could select all. You've got undo and invert selection. You could also control your view modes from here as opposed to just here. You can also show additional information in this particular view. You can choose to show in groups as well as hidden files. So if we choose groups here, we've got them grouped by rating in this case. And you'll see I've rated one file. And we'll talk more about ratings when we get into search. You could also toggle on or off hidden files. Reload, so if you've copied a file or a folder or something hasn't shown up as you think it should, you could hit reload and it'll do a refresh on the window. Here we could adjust the view properties. 
Now this is getting into more detailed settings which I'm going to save for another video. You also have panels, a location bar, a go to, again these are the same controls that you see here, tools where we can get into filters, terminal and things like that. We can configure the shortcuts, configure the toolbars, and configure Dolphin. Definitely configuring Dolphin will be another video on its own. So that's your top bar. Now you may find that your particular distribution has this set up differently. This was what default was for me in this arch based distro. So we're going to go down to, well I can't believe I'm not, I haven't, I've lost my place. Oh there we go. We're going to go down to show menu bar. Now you see control M is the keyboard command for that. In this case all you have to do is click it. It may be that if you install another distribution that is not arch based, let's say maybe you're running KDE Neon for example. This may be turned on by default. Now I personally like the nice clean look without having the file menu settings here. All right, next up, let's talk about what I call the Places panel. Now, the Places panel, typically by default, does not include what you see here, downloads, documents, pictures, and videos. So we're going to right-click on Downloads, and we're going to hit Remove, as well as Documents and Pictures. And on Videos, we're just going to pop over here to Edit so that you can see that you do have options to actually change the icon or only show it when using this particular application. And the reason for that option is because anything that you pin into places, any shortcut to a folder that you pin in places, actually shows up in the dialog menus when you're saving files or folders with other applications. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that and so we'll illustrate that in just a minute. If we move on down we have recently saved and this in itself is an excellent way to sort or quickly find uh, particular files and folders or documents that you've been working on. So you could go to today and see everything that you have dealt with or worked with today, yesterday, so on and so forth. And then we get into search so this is quick access to search which is going to open up some of the same options if you clicked on find. So if we just wanted to search for documents we're going to see a dialog window here. Now more than likely you're not going to see this information up top and the reason is you have to click on more options. But Dolphin is smart enough to know that last time I used search I had more options on so it remembered that and opened up to that same option that I had clicked earlier. So that saves you a step from having to click on more options. Now we can get into lots here about search but again that's going to be for another video as we get into more and more details. But quickly you could go to images and it's going to search and pull in images based on what you have here or selected here. So I've chosen images. If we went to documents, it's just going to sort to documents. So you've got some redundancy here and here. But if you didn't have more search tools, op or excuse me, if you didn't have uh, more options open, you could just quickly navigate this way. You can adjust the size of this particular panel. In fact, you can adjust the size with all the panels. All right, let's go back up to Places Home. And let's step through how nice it is to have places and how easy it is to add documents or files or folders to places. So there's a couple ways you could do that. Now I know that I'm going to use documents folder quite a lot. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to scroll down to add to places. You'll see that populate there. Now with downloads you have the option of adding it as well but instead of just right clicking and going to places we're just going to drag it and drop it. You'll see a blue line that pops up 
and we're just going to drop it there. I typically don't do a lot of dragging and dropping, but I'm just used to going to the dialog here and choosing Add to Places. I'm going to go to Pictures and Videos. Now here's what's nice. We've added that, column shortcuts, whatever you'd like to call them, column places. But now that we've added these locations, they're part of the dialog when we're doing something. So, or we're going to save something. So we're going to go to Office and Writer. We'll go ahead and launch that. We'll say this is a test. Now when we go to save that, we could go to Save As, for example you'll see now that the options for downloads, documents, pictures, and videos is in place. Now it defaulted to documents. Had I not had documents there, it may have defaulted to one of the other places or it may have defaulted to the home network. Then I could choose where I wanted to save that. But since I have documents in place, automatically it's an option here on the left. And you'll see the same thing when you're saving videos or if you're saving images. As long as you have that folder pinned here into places, you'll have that folder as an option within the dialog. So, kind of a lot here to go through. This is kind of, again, the overview or part one of the Dolphin File Manager. And we're going to continue on as we get deeper into settings deeper into options and things you can add to Dolphin to make it more robust or to allow it to do certain things that uh, maybe are specific to a particular application that you use, such as Dropbox or something like that. Hope you've enjoyed this overview and stay tuned for the ongoing series. That's it for now and we will check you later.